Welcome to 12th Man Studios. I'm Will Johnson. Hoop season is well underway. Billy Kennedy and his Aggies with some quality contests behind them and plenty more coming up. Let's get you caught up on this campaign. The Aggies began the season with four games in eight days, all at home. They didn't have trouble in any of them. A&M ran out to a perfect start. They were never challenged. The closest of the four contests came against Texas A&M Corpus Christi, in which the Aggies won by 25. A&M scored 100 or more in two of them. Over Thanksgiving, the Aggies headed to paradise to face a little more rugged competition at the Battle for Atlantis in the Bahamas. A&M opened with their old rival, Texas. The Aggies stayed in control. Texas scored the first basket of the game, and it was the only time they ever led. When the Longhorns tried to run back into it, the Aggies had an answer. Senior point guard Anthony Collins was terrific. He had 15 points and six assists. Freshman Tyler Davis scored 14 points, and another freshman, Admon Gilder, had 12 coming off the bench. The Aggies beat Texas 84-73. 10th ranked Gonzaga was next on Thanksgiving Day. Daniel House, after getting 19 against Texas, scored 19 more versus the Bulldogs. Tony Trocha Morelos had 14, going four for four from behind the arc. Texas A&M stuffed Gonzaga on their final attempt as time expired, and the Aggies get full on RPI points, beating the Zags 62-61. In the championship game at the Battle for Atlantis, A&M fell to national power Syracuse. Senior Jalen Jones had 23 against the Orange. The Aggies just shy in the title match, but going 2-1 and one in this year's premier early season tournament will only help later when Selection Sunday rolls around. Back home after the Bahamas, the Aggies defeated Florida Gulf Coast 75-65 at Reed. Then in their first true road game on Saturday night in Tempe, the Aggies fell to Arizona State. So Texas A&M 7-2 overall with some key home contests coming up. They are on each of the next two Saturdays against Kansas State and Baylor. The Wildcats of K-State entered this week with only one blemish on their record. That was a loss to top five in North Carolina. K-State was set to play Coppin State at home this week before coming to College Station. Baylor, they beat 16th ranked Vanderbilt on Sunday and entered this week with also just one loss. That was at nationally ranked Oregon. So some tough opponents coming to Reed Arena on the next two Saturdays. Don't forget when Baylor is in on the 19th, it is Star Wars Day. Finally, we're looking forward to January 2nd in College Station. That Saturday at home, A&M hosts the Arkansas Razorbacks in its SEC opener. Four conference home games in January, including a date with Phenom Ben Simmons and the LSU Tigers on Tuesday, January 19th. Simmons, despite being a freshman, is considered the best player in the country. He's averaging right at 20 points and 15 rebounds per contest. December and January, that's where the weather gets cold, but you can warm up inside Reed Arena with some quality college basketball. Coming to College Station in the next couple of months, think about it, it's Kansas State, Baylor, Arkansas, LSU. Even on January 30th, there's another marquee non-conference matchup with Iowa State, who is currently in the top 10. Big time basketball in Aggieland. We'll see you at Reed Arena over the next couple of months.